The 1946 elections in this country was a single significant turning point in the progress towards full democracy in Trinidad and Tobago. Elections in Trinidad and Tobago are always an exciting time, and the 1946 elections, which were the first under universal adult suffrage, did not disappoint. Persons from all ages and walks of life were involved in the campaigning leading up to the poll day. And it was not uncommon for Tobagonians to come to Trinidad to further their personal development. In the 1930s, Trinidad had the busiest port in the British West Indies. It would have been here that Mr. William Archie, a Tobagonian seeking his future, would have entered Trinidad for the first time. Mr. Archie shared his memories of the activities he took part in during the days before the 1946 election day. I, I was born in Tobago, went to Trinidad to at least elevate yourself because you couldn't get all the amenities here. So you we went, to, went off to Trinidad, then the war in 39. I think September 39, and, uh, and there onwards, well, <coughs> as youngsters, we got involved in this voting process. We used to ride bicycles all through Belmont and all the places there. Camp, help camping in and as boys, you, you're having fun. We we'll ride to Diego Martin. All, all those places you will be blue basin and well having fun. Coming out of a period of struggle for better living conditions for citizens in the Crown colonies of the Caribbean and the fight for universal adult suffrage in Trinidad and Tobago, the 95 year old Mr. Archie said. Although many of his friends were not interested in voting, he gladly accepted the opportunity. Is it first um, the first year chance you have to vote without having property and all that stuff? So, so you were excited, and at least. It, uh, you, 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 you were excited, you were excited because when you hear big names like Albert Gomes, Bertie Gomes, and Big Belly Gomes, and these names, I think Pat Sullivan was in that season, Patrick Sullivan. When they used to come to Belmont to campaign at St. Margaret's School. Mr. Archie, who has been voting for over 70 years, had this advice for younger persons. To, to register a vote, to see that you have a stake in your country. Uh, I can say I helped to get this done in this area. I think it's a privilege. 